How you doing there? You doing fine. You mind telling about where you from? What your first name is? You ain't got to give you last. Uh, my name's Charles. I'm from Belton. Local guy. I was born here in Belton myself. 1955, Dr. Michael Wayne. Uh, well, he was one of mine, too. He delivered me right over yonder. Yeah. Well, I was born at home. <laughs> oh, was you? Yeah. Yeah, but they, uh, my daddy said Dr. Michael Wayne. Yeah. That was the only guy in town. Uh, yep, you know? yep. My daddy used to make a joke about it. He said, I was in there when you was born, son. He said, when you was born, you were so ugly. When Dr. McElwain slapped you, he meant it. <laughs> <laughs> I've talked that so many times, y'all. But anyway, this is my hometown where I was born in. How y'all fella doing? Y'all mind telling everybody your first name and uh, where you from? Boy, well, from here in Honeypath. Honeypath? Ken Andrews from Blue Ridge, South Carolina. Oh, that's the Evan Tippin country. Uh, part of the Lazy Dogs and yeah. the other highest here in South Carolina. Sure enough. It's a really pretty woman place to get for her. I, I got you. Good to see y'all. I'm doing a little video for Jack outside. Uh, uh, y'all have a good time here. Uh, Hey, you mind telling about your first name, where you from? Maurice Padgett from Greenville. From Greenville, South Carolina. How Carolina. you having a good time today here at Jack's thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good show so far, ain't it? Good show so far. Yeah, well, you know they, there's about three bands on the outside. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you for coming. This is just my side art. That's my art. <laughs> Hey Edna. Hey Doug. Hey, how you doing today? I'm just fine. Is she doing all right? Y'all, this is Edna. She's a friend of mine. She made it today. I'm just doing some videos with people outside and all. Yeah. Good to see, huh? Good to see. Y'all mind telling about her, your first name? Francis Gibson. Where, where you from? From Anderson. All right, he with you right there? No, I just just talking to him like mm -hmm. I talk to everybody else. And what's your name? I'm Jimmy Gilstrap. I'm just doing a little video for Jack, going around meeting people. Okay. I remember you though with Jack's yeah, show. We go to me and my husband, Curtis Gibson. I, I, I remember you working with him. Yeah. There he is. There's Jack. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. <laughs>
Hey, what's y'all's name, first name? Cindy and Kathy. Good to see y'all here today. Thank you, thank you, Jimmy. What, you don't mind telling me where you from? Anderson. Oh, I rec just recognized who you were, darling. <laughs> Anderson. Anderson. That's my good friend, Kathy. Good to meet you, honey. Glad y'all came. Jimmy actually knew me. He just didn't know who I Hey, y'all enjoy yourself. Yeah. Thank you. We do because we care. <laughs> Stop. Hey, come! That's another bluegrass player. He's a good picker. How you doing? All right, that's another good. There he is, good picker right here, boy. He's playing. There you go. Hey. Oh, Are you going to be playing?
Jack Ellenberg, commander of Victor Carl. Let's give him a hand. Yeah. 
traveled all over everywhere. Bluegrass campus, playing bluegrass music on the campuses all over uh, the north and the south. And he wrote a lot of good songs. He never got credit for his abilities. Anyhow, Charlie Moore lived in Piedmont. He became my idol sort because when I was about 11 years old, he uh, he stopped by that restaurant where I was working. I was curb walking and he would play me up. Play me a bluegrass song on his guitar and I sort of kind of fell in love with the music. So from there he became my idol. But he and Bill Nathan were up in, uh, up in Detroit doing some, uh, doing some bluegrass picking around and so a snowstorm came and they got the they got the, the word they couldn't get back home and they ran out of money so they had to go to work at the car factory. And when they went to work, went to work in the car factory they got enough money to get home and on the way home they wrote this song. All winter I've been working Making cars in my control But tomorrow I'll be taking I believe in the tools The hard times that I've had I believe in Detroit I believe in South I'm going where the southern breeze
see my artist man. He's an artist, Jim. He's an artist. He got family favors too. I got one of them So if you got a ticket, get it down right quick. Cause we're going to draw a for this money right quick. Okay? The last four, last four are eight zero four three. That's not mine. Who has that? Eight zero four three. Who's got it? Anybody? No taker. Give me another. Yeah. Eight zero four three. Goodness, he was in the bathroom. Come here. Oh, you good? Oh, no. Twenty more dollars. Think about that. We need more bucks. Now, if you open this up, there's not twenty in there. You better let me know, because my wife might have stolen it out of there. I'm just kidding. She wouldn't do that. Okay, give me a number. The number here is I'm giving the last four. Okay. Last four is racing. You see that? <laughs> I told you to get the big tree version. Eight zero zero five. <laughs> Eight zero zero five. <laughs> oh, come forward. Oh. I like lobster when we go out to eat. I don't want to see nobody kissing that man on the front of this thing either. I go in the store sometimes when I have to use Big Bill. I'll hold him up and I'll kiss him. That girl looked at me and she said, I said, hey, ain't nothing wrong with kissing that man, I tell you. Yeah, $50 bill. Okay, give me a number. This number, I can see this one. Thank goodness. Eight one one zero. Fifty dollars. Oh, we got a winner. Where are we eating that, Judy? You better run like you do on the price of crap. Folks, you might think for not so why we're doing this. We're giving back to you for you giving to us. That's what it is. It wouldn't be right for me to be selfish and take all these tips we made to put in my pocket because it's really not about me. It's about you. And it's about this organization and our community and our spirit. So this hundred dollars is going to go to somebody. Don't y'all like Jeff? Any a good ticket? Go on back here. Eight zero nine three. One hundred dollars. Boy, that was a good drive from Hickory Tavern, wasn't it?
that's real loud to me. I can write way down on that. Zero, seven, nine. You have that one. Look real close. Eight, zero, seven, nine. No takers? No takers. Oh, 
Carol play over here. I'm, uh, this is my wife Carol, we're the lazy dogs. There's two of us. I ain't gonna tell you which one's the laziest of the lazy dogs. So let's do, uh, help this from the rest of the golf kid and shoot you.
Oh, that man. We want to hear some tenors and altos and some... What else is there? Right? Yeah, it's just fun. Yeah, it's all kinds of good stuff. We want everybody to be part of it. Uh, I'm going to do this one last... Well, we got two more songs, and then we do our last song. And we always did it to pick a mama. It's called Y'all Come. Y'all yeah, come. Yeah, Tom, come, come up here. Get up here. Sing with me now. Sing with me. I was standing
I hear some fans holler. What is that? Wow. <laughs> <laughs>
they say thank you enough. Y'all really are just awesome. And I will not get a week's sleep tonight. Because I'll be reminiscing of all the faces I've seen. Thanks for the musicians. Thanks for the audience. Thanks for the money. Kate, all the help. People, everything. Just thank you. God save you going home. Give yourself a big hand.